Hello, this is Vic and thank you for joining me and thank you once again for viewing my videos on my channel. I'm in a very, very historical place today, very exceptionally different place than the ones that I visited in the past. And actually it's one of the places that I always wanted to visit. So I'm on the west coast of Guernsey, one of the uh, Channel Islands, and I will give you a hint where I am. First of all, you can see the structure behind me and you can probably figure what that is. But let me tell you that between 1940 and 1945, the Channel Islands were occupied by the Nazi Germans. And uh, what they did, they built huge, massive fortifications around the islands, especially around Jersey and Guernsey. So what happened today, I was videotaping Fort Gray, which is about a kilometer away, and I ran into these massive, massive fortifications. So you're looking at one of the uh, biggest ones here on the coast, and for the next few clips, I will give you a tour of the different places. Now, what I wouldn't give to get to be able to get inside one of these, one of them is open, and unfortunately it is flooded because of the recent storms. So I'm not gonna be able to show you inside. However, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the structures. I'm gonna be walking on top of them. I will show you how the Germans used to go inside the bunkers and the fortifications. You will see at one point a very big gun position and uh, I will also show you the position from the beach so you can see what they were supposed to defend. So I hope you enjoy the next few clips. They are, uh, these fortifications are extremely massive. They are perfect, perfect. I mean, they have not been damaged at all with the exception of the gun position that you will see. And uh, if you ever get a chance to tour one of these places, you will never forget it. Thank you for joining me. Love you all. This is Vic. Enjoy the next few clips. Bye bye. Now for some of the clips that you will see, uh, I will add music and that's because uh, once I get exposed and I walk on top of the bunker right there or of this uh, fortification, it is very windy and the uh, uh, the microphone or the camera will pick up all the noise so uh, here I'm protected so I will speak you can see the entrance right there so let's go a little closer this is the main entrance to this particular structure you can see it's locked uh, as I said there is one which is open and if I go down a little more I'm going to put the camera inside so you can see you can actually see the door moving all the way down and there is a and a place that you can see the uh, different, you can see the door, rusty door over there. And I'm still at the same structure. You can see the, uh, the air vent right there. There's another one over there. And there's an opening there, which uh, you're going to see in another structure. And that's most, most likely a machine gun position to protect the uh, uh, this particular bunker from intruders. Here's another vent and you can see the ladder used to go to the top. Now in one of my clips you're going to see me walking on top of this huge structure. Here's another vent right there. You can see the steel used here rusting. So let's get a good view of the overall structure and I hope you agree with me. This is massive. There must have been tons and tons and thousands of tons of cement used to construct this and this is only the entrance so for the next for the next few clips i will go down to the beach so you can see the front of these structures i'm gonna walk all over and uh, by the way when i walk and you can see grass the bunkers are still under my feet it's not just the cement which is part of the fortification but also this whole place which is about i would say about 200 meters long and only God knows what's buried under that. Hope you enjoy the next few clips. Love you all. Bye-bye. What you're looking at here is a very heavy, uh, about uh, 10 to 12 centimeter uh, thick steel door or uh, a closing that would be used to bar or to close completely this entry right here. So you can imagine a machine gun positioned right there to guard this particular bunker or fortification from uh, the enemies and uh, this door here would block that completely look how heavy it is 
and it is the original one. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind, but it is so heavy that uh, it has been blown up, but it has been uh, left here. I don't think anybody can lift this thing. So I am right now by the beach and uh, Fort Gray is right there in the distance. You can see it in the middle of the, of the frame. All this wall that you see here is the fortification and there are bunkers and uh, rooms and so on right behind it and some of them are buried by uh, dirt and, and sand and so on. But this is one very good example of German ingenuity and engineering how to protect and fortify a uh, a bunker. So let's go back a little bit. You can probably hear the uh, the wind, but I wanted to explain to you so you can get an idea as far as what I'm looking at. And uh, here is another machine gun position right there. You can see that this one is open, unlike the last one that we uh, we reviewed. You can see the steel door right there. You can see there are no hinges to the door. Actually, what it does, it slides up the groove right there. You can see the groove right in the middle of the frame, all around it. And that's how it secures the, uh, the entry to the uh, uh, machine gun so nobody can get in. So this door here has been here for quite a few years, since 1945. And it is getting worn out and uh, rusty from uh, in the salt water because the beach is right behind me. But what's really remarkable about this place is that you can see inside. And I'm using my uh, less expensive Samsung camera. You may get a draft, you may get wind on the microphone because it's a huge draft. The wind is coming out through this opening here uh, very, very uh, fast. So let's, uh, let's put the camera inside and give you a view of the room inside. Actually, I can see one, two, three, four rooms in the distance. Right there. Now, what's, how is that for you? Fantastic view of a uh, German fortification bunker. Here's another uh, huge bunker. And this one, you can see that the door is open and it's not locked. But uh, here's the machine gun position protecting the entrance. You can see the air vents right there. There's another one down there. You can see the, uh, the metal bars there that help the German soldiers go up to the top. And in one of my clips you're going to see the top of this one as I'm walking over it. Let's go inside. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see too much of anything because it is flooded. It is absolutely flooded with water because it is next to the beach. Here's the, uh, the ceiling. If I can. Right there, you can see several rooms going deep. And you can see the electrical wires, the original electrical wires. Look at them right there. Amazing. So again, who said history is boring? On the contrary, there's nothing as exciting, absolutely nothing, than history and architecture. Hope you've enjoyed all these. And you're going to enjoy the next few clips. Unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be able to speak because they are filmed up there and it's very, very windy. So I'm gonna add some music. Love you all, bye-bye. Okay, just for fun, because history can be fun as well. What we're going to try to do is, we're going to try to go up that ladder right there and see where, uh, where it takes us. So imagine an alarm, I imagine that the British are coming to invade Guernsey and it is 1944 and you can picture the German soldiers coming, rushing out of there, trying to go to the top. So let's go and see. This may be difficult because I'm holding the camera with one hand and I'm trying to video this. 
so they would come up the ladder right there you can see the space and you can see the defensive position over here where they would be shooting towards the invading army right there so um, it's a very narrow place it can possibly fit one or two soldiers but right now I'm walking right on top of the bunker you can see the cement right here which has been covered over the years with uh, sand and gravel and also lots of grass but I'm on top of it right below me are the rooms you can see the corner of it right here and you can see the others the bunkers right in the distance just to give you an idea and a perspective what it looks like from the top